Hallelujah. 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 Bless your name. Bless your name. Glory to your name. Glory to your name. Glory to your name. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Oh, bless your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. Bless your name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Well, once again, we say welcome to the Noonday Intercessory Prayer. We're so thankful that we have another opportunity. Glory to God, hallelujah, to pray, to take advantage of the privilege of prayer and to experience the transforming power of prayer. So we say welcome to you, those that will uh, listen to the call to the uh, prayer that will watch the video format that uh, will be uploaded. We just want to say thank you, and we're so thankful. We're so grateful. Our heart is filled with gratitude because of God's goodness and his faithfulness. In spite of what we see in the natural, we know that God is still good. Hallelujah. And the issue is not with God. It is with us. It is with man whom he has entrusted, hallelujah, to have dominion in the earth realm. And so in spite of all the trouble, the chaos, the confusion, the injustice, all that we may consider negative, we can still rest in the assurance that God is good, hey, glory, and his mercy endureth forever and so we continue to pray we continue to bombard heaven we continue to stay focused we continue to trust God who is sovereign and uh, that is our focus on today we always try to have a a focus amen and our focus today is trusting in the Lord. We want to trust in the Lord. We want to stay focused and always know that there are blessings if we trust in the Lord. A definition for trust, actually I have two um, from our dictionary. Reliance on on the integrity, strength, ability, surety, etc. of a person or thing. 
also confidence. Confident expectation of something. Hope. And so when we talk about trusting in the Lord, we're simply saying we are relying on Him. We are relying on on the Lord because he is righteous. He is just. He is holy. He is faithful. He is trustworthy. Hallelujah. He is our strength. He is strong and mighty. He is the Lord mighty in battle. He is sovereign. He is king. He is ruler. Hallelujah. So we can rely on him because of his integrity, his track record, his strength, his ability, his power. We can be confident in him for those same attributes. Hallelujah. Because of his character. He is not a man that he should lie. Whatever he has spoken He'll make it good. His promises are yes and amen. So we can trust in the Lord. Hallelujah. And of course, we always have scripture that we base our prayers and our declarations and affirmations on. And so I want to give you a few of those today. Number one is, and they're not in any sequential order. The first one, though, is Proverbs 3 and 5. It says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Hallelujah. Trust in the Lord. Again, I repeat, why can I trust in the Lord? Why is it that you can trust in the Lord because he is just, he is fair, he is righteous, he is holy, he's trustworthy, he is good, he is faithful, he is mighty, his ability is beyond our comprehension. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Another scripture. We have several in the Psalm. Psalm 32 Verse 10 says, Many sorrows shall be to the wicked, but he who trusts in the Lord, mercy shall surround him. This is a reason to trust in the Lord. Hallelujah. If you trust in the righteous one, the holy God, mercy surrounds you. Glory to God. Another uh, scripture in Psalm. 34 verse 8 says, Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man or blessed is the woman. Blessed is the person who trusts in him. You are blessed if you trust in the Lord. Nothing broken, nothing missing. You are blessed. Hallelujah. You are blessed if you trust in the Lord. But it is not so for the wicked person. Sorrows shall be to the wicked, but he who trusts in the Lord. Hallelujah. Mercy surrounds him. You are blessed. Taste and see that the Lord is good. You have to experience it. There is an experience or there is an encounter with the Lord. The great God who created the heavens and the earth. When you have an encounter and experience with his power. Hallelujah. Through Jesus the Christ, your faith. You, your life can no longer be the same. You learn to trust in him. Glory to God. In spite of what you go through, you can always trust him. Psalm 125 and 1 says, Those who trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion, which cannot be moved, but abides forever. Hallelujah. That is so powerful. That is encouraging. Hallelujah. Psalm 56 and 11. The psalmist says, In God I have put my trust. 
I will not be afraid. What can man do to me? Now this is so key for in the times we're living now because there is so much violence. There is so much crime and all kinds of evil acts and evil activity and criminal activity that's taking place. It's like if you're not, if you don't trust in the Lord, you will be so fearful and afraid that fear will immobilize you. Fear will cause you to become a prisoner and not enjoy life. But because you can trust, hallelujah, you can trust in the Lord. You can put your trust in him so that you will not be afraid because he's got you. And for those of us who are in the kingdom, who have received Jesus Christ as Savior and Lord, even if something happens to us, God forbid, we know where we will spend eternity. And so whether we live or die, hallelujah, we should not be afraid because we have a place in eternity that we will live forever. Hallelujah. So remember that. In God, I have put my trust. I will not be afraid. What can man do to me? Hallelujah. Glory to God. And whatever it is that man does... God allows it because you belong to him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. That's good news on today. Glory to God. And then one final one that I want to share with you. Well, a couple more. <laughs> I want to share with you because I want you to get this word in your spirit. It's something about the word of God. When you hear it, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. And when you hear the word, the word of God, the word of God is life. Hallelujah. God's word is spirit and life. And when you hear that and allow it to get into your spirit, something happens. Glory to God. So here's one other scripture. Well, like I said, I have a couple more. Uh, Proverbs 30 and 5 says, Every word of God is pure. He is a shield to those who put their trust in him. It goes, it connects with the, what I just said, the other verse that you, you, if you trust in him, you cannot be afraid of what man can do to you. Hallelujah. Because God is your shield. He covers you. Glory to God. He is your protection. Hallelujah. Every word of God is pure. God's word is the final authority. What God is speaking. Hallelujah. It's pure. It's truth. Hallelujah. He is a shield to those who put their trust in him. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Uh, the prophet Nahum in the Old Testament. Chapter 1, verse 7. Hallelujah. The prophet says, the Lord is good. A stronghold in the day of trouble. And he knows those who trust in him. Glory to God. And again, we are in the days of trouble. There is so much going on in this world. Hallelujah. Glory to God. But once again, you can put your trust in the Lord because he is good. He is a stronghold in the day of trouble. He is a safe place. There is no better place that you can be in than in the will of God. It is your safe place. Get in the will of God and be secure in who he is and how much power he has. Hallelujah. And he knows those who trust in him. And because he knows those who trust in him you do not have to fear 
You do not have to fret. You do not have to be worried. Glory to God. You do not have to allow fear to consume you, to immobilize you, to paralyze you because God's got you. You can trust him. Put your trust in the Lord. Glory to God. The last scripture that I want to give you is Psalm 18 and verse 2. The psalmist makes this declaration and we must do the same thing. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my God, my strength in whom I will trust my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold, glory to God. There is a scripture that says the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run their end and are safe. A strong tower is a place of safety where you can hide. And so if God is your strong tower, you can hide in him. In the New Testament, glory to God, the writer says, it is Paul who says, our life is hidden in Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And we have the promise that the good work that he has begun in us, he will complete it. Glory to God. So we can put our trust in him. Hallelujah. Here's another scripture that we're focusing on. Trusting in the Lord brings perfect peace when we stay focused on him and who he is. This comes from Isaiah 26, verse 3, that says, Thou would keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee, because he trusted in thee. And so we rephrased it to give you a principle, a focal point. Trusting in the Lord brings perfect peace when we stay focused on him and who he is. When we stay focused on who God is, hallelujah, how great and mighty and awesome and sovereign and trustworthy, glory to God, and righteous and holy, glory to God, and not focus so much and become so depressed and overwhelmed by what we see in the natural, we can have the peace of God, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to God. The peace of God guards our hearts and our minds. The peace of God cannot be comprehended. It can only be experienced. Glory to God. So we're praying today. Perhaps you have not reached that place of total, complete trust in the Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. When we complete this prayer on today, I decree and declare that your level of trust in God, hallelujah, glory to God, will increase, hallelujah. You begin to walk in the freedom, hallelujah, that God desires for every believer. You begin to rejoice and hope in the great God that you serve, hallelujah. Father God, we thank you so very much. We thank you for this day. We thank you for another opportunity to come boldly to your throne of grace, to come in confidence because we trust you. We trust that you hear us when we pray. And we thank you and we give you praise and we give you glory. We thank you for the access that we have been given through your son, Jesus the Christ. Hallelujah. We bless you. We thank you that when we come, we can obtain mercy hallelujah and find grace and favor to help us in time of need and as always we recognize hallelujah I need for you oh God we thank you today we thank you because of who you are we praise you because of who you are you are great and mighty and awesome and wonderful your works are marvelous in our eyes you are the righteous one you are holy and just you are trustworthy hallelujah your character glory to God 
your character. It is your nature to be holy. You are holy. You are holy. You are righteous. You are just. There is no failure in you. You are all wise. You know everything. You see everything. You hear everything. You are not silent. You are still speaking. And so we trust you on today. Oh God, and you have said in your word, your word that is pure, your word that is right, your word that is the final authority, that we can come boldly, we can make our requests known to you, glory to God. And you have said in your word that even when we call, you will answer before we call, you will answer. You, if we call unto you, you will show us great and mighty things that we did not know. We thank you for your word. We thank you for the assurance that you give us. We thank you for the power of your word. We thank you for the for the authority and the praise that we receive just by speaking and declaring your word out of our mouth. We thank you that your words are spirit and life. We thank you that your promises are yes and amen. And we give you glory. Hallelujah. We thank you, our God, our great and mighty God. Wonderful is your name. You are strong tower. You are refuge. Hallelujah. You are fortress, our shield and and our buckler. Oh God, we thank you today and we give you glory. We give you glory. Hey, we give you glory. Yes, Lord. We give you glory. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We bless you. Hallelujah. We bless you. Hallelujah. We bless you. We bless you. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We give you glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Our petition today, oh God, is for those that may not have raised their level of trust in you. There's still doubt. Oh God, but we pray today for a new fresh courage. We pray, oh God, that they're raised in their level of trust, that they begin to trust you more, that they not focus on what they see in the natural, that they lose hope in you. Christ in us, the hope of glory. I pray today, oh God, for a greater level of trust. Hallelujah. We can trust you because you are trustworthy. You are sovereign. You are great. You are awesome. You are righteous in all your ways. Hallelujah. There is no failure in you. You are omnipresent. Hallelujah. We thank you and we praise you. So Father, today we pray, oh God, for an elevation in the mindset of your people. Oh God, those that are about to give up, we come against that in the name of Jesus. We come against the enemy that wants to cause your people to doubt you, to mistrust you, uh, to say that you are not trustworthy, but we come against it now in the name of Jesus and we declare your glory be revealed. We declare your glory be revealed in the lives of your people. We decree and declare that they will not grow weary in well doing, but they will remain faithful and trust you and take you at your word. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. May they receive the words that have been spoken in the name of Jesus. Words like those who trust in you, O Lord, are like Mount Zion, which cannot be moved, but abides forever. May they receive your word that many sorrows shall be to the wicked, but he who trusts in the Lord, mercy shall surround him. So, Father, we thank you for your mercy now, your mercy that surrounds those that are here in the prayer on today. We thank you, O oh God, because you are trustworthy. You are righteous. You are holy. You are faithful. And in you we put our trust. Hallelujah. May those who are walking in fear, hallelujah, because of all the evil and the violence that we see on the news and that we even encounter in our own lives, may they receive the word of the psalmist today and say, in 
in God I have put my trust. I will not be afraid. What can man do to me? Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good and blessed of the man who trusts in him. So, Father, we thank you today. May they know like never before that your word is pure. Hallelujah. Your word is a shield and a buckler. You shield those who put their trust in you. May they know without a shadow of a doubt uh, that you got them covered. Uh, hallelujah. May they know uh, that the blood of Jesus prevail over their lives. Uh, I plead the blood even now. The blood of Jesus cover them from the crown of their head uh, to the sole of their feet. Uh, I plead the blood over their family members. Uh, those that are so worried now about the safety of their children. I plead the blood of Jesus. Uh, the blood cover their children. Uh, the blood cover grandchildren. The blood cover nieces and nephews. The blood prevail today. Oh God, we thank you for the blood of Jesus. The blood, the blood. We plead the blood now. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus on school campuses. The blood of Hello, Sunday. The blood of We thank you, oh God, that even now angels are dispatched in the name of Jesus to protect. Hallelujah to do warfare. In the name of Jesus, I pray, oh God, that those that are walking in fear, hallelujah, that they would trust you, that they would pray over their children and plead the blood and know, oh God, that you won't allow anything to happen without purpose. Even those horrible things, the tragedies that we experience, we pray, oh God, that they will know that you are still good and they can trust you. Hallelujah. 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 Oh God, the pain is so great. Oh, but oh God, you grieve with them. Oh God, let them know that you grieve also. Hallelujah. Oh God, you do not go beyond man's will. Oh God, but those that will follow after the evil of the enemy enemy. You grieve with us. And so, Father, we pray, O oh God, that those that are grieving would know, oh God, that you are the God of all comfort. May they experience your comfort and may they trust you, O oh God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Oh, Father. Ah, Yes, Lord. Oh, God. Oh, God. The hearts are so heavy. Oh, mama neke bo so to leke. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. The grief is so great, but oh God, today we pray for relief. We pray, oh God, for comfort. We pray, oh God, hallelujah. Oh God, we pray that they would trust you in the midst of tragedy. Hallelujah, that you will be their shield, oh God. Mm. Oh, Father, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Mm. I pray for a lifting today. I pray for a lifting of the burden today. Ah, let your peace Rain down the peace of God, the peace of God, the peace of God. Hallelujah. Those that would trust you, that would stay focused on you as being sovereign, as being their God, their shield. Thank you, Father. I pray, Lord God. I pray for those that have experienced, that have been impacted by the Florida shooting. Oh, God, the grief, the grief. The grief is so heavy. Their hearts are so heavy. Oh, God. And the questions are why. Why, my child? Oh, God. 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 Oh, Father. 
ya la moti candere si ya no te ya la moza no lo que ti enos oh father yes hey glory you see and you know hallelujah just trust me trust me god trust oh father oh god Ha, chere se ki anamaso do. Yaramot si anolaki anamot. Oh God, the days are evil, but you are still good. Oh, the wickedness of man, the wickedness of man, caused so much distress and devastation. But you will not go over the will of man. Those that have given themselves over to the enemy. Oh, God. But we pray for your mercy. We plead for your mercy, your mercy, oh, God. I pray today that they do not lose trust in you. Oh, Father. Oh, God. Ah, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Your name is a strong tower. The righteous run therein that are saved. Oh, Father, we pray in the name of Jesus for a safe place, for protection of our children. Oh, Father, mm. in the name of Jesus, the bus to rise up as intercessors. Hallelujah. Prayer warriors to rise up, stand in the gap. Open our eyes to see the plans of the enemy. Hallelujah. That we'll stand in the gap and intercede. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And abort the plans of the devil. In the name of Jesus. And even with that, oh God. I hear you. Oh God, I hear you. Yes, hallelujah, oh God. Oh, Father. Oh. Ah, God. Oh, Father. I hear you. I hear you. You're constantly speaking. You're constantly sending warnings. But when men don't know your voice and when they don't follow instruction. We suffer great loss. Oh, Father. Oh, help us, Father, to stay on the wall. Watchmen on the wall. Let us not come down. Oh, Father. That's why we are asleep. Huh? The enemy comes in. But we pray today. Uh, opening of the ears that we were hearing the spirit open our eyes and we're seeing the spirit that is watchmen on the wall we will see hallelujah we will see hallelujah we will see yes lord hallelujah help us to commit to seeing as watchmen to see in the realm of the spirit in the name of jesus Oh, Father, for many, a lack of trust, a lack of trust in you. Oh, God, forgive us, forgive us, <laughs> forgive us for our lack of trust. Forgive us for not trusting to hear your voice and to speak. And to declare, hallelujah, forgive us. <laughs> forgive us, Father. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. <laughs> forgive us for not recognizing, not being obedient. Oh, God, forgive us for our lack of trust. Forgive us for our doubt, our lack of faith. Forgive us, oh, Father. We repent before you. We repent before you. 
Oh God, oh God, we repent before you. Forgive us. And we receive your forgiveness because you have said if we confess our sins, you are faithful and you are just to forgive us and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And so we receive it now. Hallelujah. And we turn from our wicked ways. We humble ourselves before you, oh God. And we turn, we turn back to you. We turn, hallelujah, and we trust you with our whole heart. We're not leaning on our own understanding anymore. But we're acknowledging you and you shall direct our path. Hallelujah, thank you, Father. Thank you for your goodness and your mercy. Thank you, oh God, for your love that's unconditional. Thank you, Lord. We bless your name. And we honor you and we reverence you. And we thank you for this new day where we receive a new level of trust. Hallelujah. We will believe you. We will rely on your word. We will rely on you, the only true and living God, who's faithful and true and holy and righteous. Hallelujah. And worthy of all praise, honor, and glory. Our great God, we thank you today. And we seal this prayer in the name of Jesus and his blood. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And it is so. Well, once again, we say thank you so very much. Thank you for joining in. Thank you for agreeing with us in prayer. And we pray that you'll be blessed, hallelujah, and that you will continue to trust God, not give up. We pray that you will continue to experience the transforming power of prayer and live powerful, purposeful, prayerful lives through faith in Jesus the Christ. Amen.